So I don't really see people using this tool that much, but I think it's key for getting fast set blind at a rapid pace. So while I only started using it like last year, I wish I knew it like almost eight years ago when I started learning blind for the first time. But before I cover that, let me just recap the first two videos. So the first one, I covered my backstory and how I actually had a very sort of slow process initially when I was trying to get fast red blind. And through all those years of like struggles and coaching people and all that, I sort of developed a framework for getting really fast at blind very quickly. And in the second video, I gave you an exercise that you can apply regardless of where you are in your blind solving journey to sort of be more self-aware of where you are with all the different aspects and sort of diagnose your weak points, which is the first step to getting faster. Anyhow, the tool that I was talking about is an app called Anki which is essentially a space repetition flashcard system to help you memorize anything for the long term. So in the context of blind solving, it will primarily be used to help you memorize words and images for certain tricky letter pairs, as well as memorizing a bunch of algorithms, primarily for learning the advanced three style method. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you exactly how I use the app myself and how you can as well. Okay, so once you've downloaded Anki, you should have something like this without all the decks, which are mine as you can probably see. So let's say you want to practice um, memorizing and recalling letter pair words. So first of all, create a new deck and then just type whatever title you want. So I might do tricky letter pair words, click on OK, and then go to add. Make sure you select the right deck here, tricky letter pair words, choose. And on the front, chuck the letter pair that you're having trouble with. So let's say QW. On the back, um, just think about it. Um, Generally, try to come up with the first thing that comes to mind. If nothing comes to mind, maybe come up with a special rule for Q. So maybe make a CR sound. So I just think of crow. So you can type up crow. If you're a bit more of a visual person, you can also type up crow here and just like drag an image. Uh, and yeah, just press enter the format and then click add. And I'm just going to chuck in another one. So maybe PH and this ghost and then add that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much how you create it. And what you do is just go to this um, home menu and you wanna click on this and go through the cards every single day, essentially. So click on study now. So QW, um, as I just did it just then, I know it's Crow, so click on show answer. And don't worry about easy, just worry about again and good. If you remember it, then just click on good. Um, if you come up with say gh and you just forget it then just um click again and then just keep going through it like that and in the context of um three style i'm just going to make a new deck once again so create deck three style uh ufl for instance are you learning those so click add so maybe you're learning just the uh what's it the ub sticker sets so once again make sure you change your um deck to the freestyle uf algs and then once again type the letter pair on the front so first one would be a b and then just like copy an alg from whatever sheet you like this is kind of outdated but i'm gonna use it anyway copy and paste it here and just click add and yeah you can do something similar so i might just chuck in the inverse so I'll do that right now. So basically swap these two around. That is the inverse. Click add and I'll just walk you through like what I do when doing three style algs as well. So when going through this, what I do is um, perform the, the case for the algorithm. So in this case, AB, don't know if that's mirrored, but whatever. And for um, BA, um, so the inverse. So you should go and essentially do the algorithm and then do the inverse. So if I see AB, I execute AB and BA. Reason being is that you can kind of learn two and two hand in hand, and you also want to keep returning to a solved state. And also it means that after executing AB, you can check to make sure you did the exact right out because you should have the inverse case BA on the cube. So you can do something similar for pretty much all the other three style logs. And once again, if you can recall it correctly, press good, if not, click again. And you just do this every day, divide it up based upon what um, you're learning. So let a pair of words is one, um, corner algs are one, edge algs are one, and 
that's all you need to know pretty much and that'll save you hours months i don't know years of time in my case so generally anki is designed to work alongside the natural forgetting curve of your brain so let's say if you're trying to practice recalling an alg and you learn it for the first time and if you recall it correctly continuously you'd recall it again the next day then maybe in a few days then a week then perhaps a month and so on so a bit later and later and if you're having trouble with something then it'll pop up like every single day until um, you get the hang of it that it kind of becomes that sort of pattern and it's just like the most efficient way to learn pretty much any of like this type of stuff essentially and I'd recommend it over a google sheet any day um like i think google sheets are definitely better for like sharing stuff with other people but from a functional standpoint um, i'd recommend anki like any day if you had to pick one of the two anyway i definitely recommend giving it a try so just make a new deck for whatever you're working on chuck on some uh, cards using the format I suggested, try it for a bit and see how you go. Anyway, if you enjoyed this tip, then I've got some great news, which is that I'm launching my blind solving masterclass in a few days, which will cover this very same topic. So how to use Anki effectively, um, stuff like finger trick fundamentals for three style, which I've seen a lot of people kind of screw up throughout coaching last year and various other things like world-class memorization techniques. But once again, I've never created anything remotely close to this in depth before and nothing like this exists anywhere else on the internet. So be sure to stay on the lookout. But anyway, in the next video, I'll be showing you the entire game plan slash roadmap of how to get from complete beginner all the way to world class essentially. So what methods I recommend for every single level. And it's surprisingly simple. And maybe you might know a bit about it already, but before then, um, thanks for tuning in and see you in the next video. Bye.